Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in superposition theorem. Determine the current through the branch 2 plus J5 ohm in the given circuit using the superposition theorem. So this is the given circuit with one voltage source and one current source. We are going to find out the current through this branch. Okay. So here this branch is having 2 ohm and J5 ohm in series. So we can write the branch as 2 plus J5 ohm. Okay. So in the superposition theorem, the first step is to select only one source. At the time, the another source, here the current source is open circuited. Then we are going to find out the current through this branch due to this voltage source alone. Okay. That is I dash. So in the second step, we are going to consider this current source alone. At the time, the voltage source is short circuited. Then we are going to find out the current flowing through this branch due to this current source. That is I double dash. And then we can find out the total current flowing through this branch by adding this I dash and I double dash. Okay. So let's solve this problem. So here in the solution path, first step is to find the current through 2 plus J5 O due to the voltage source. So here the voltage source is 50 with 0 degree volt. So the current is known as I dash. Okay. So when we are going to consider only the voltage source, here the current source is open circuited then there is no current flowing through this branch. So here we are going to find out this I dash value. Okay. So here we can consider this loop. So in this one, this is the voltage source. Here the total current is flowing through the circuit. Since all the elements are connected in series. Correct. So the total current flowing through this loop is equal. So according to Ohm's law, I is equal to B by R. So here all the resistance values are connected in series. We can take the equivalent resistance as sum of all the resistance values. So I dash is equal to 50 with phase. So here this represents phase value. Okay. So with an angle 0 degree divided by the sum of all the resistance values. So J4 plus 2 plus J5. Okay, then we can simply add the imaginary values. Then we can get I dash is equal to 50 with an angle 0 degree divided by 2 plus 9J. So in this one, the numerator is in polar form, the denominator in a rectangular form. So polar form means what? So polar means the magnitude along with the phase. So rectangular means what? Real and then imaginary part. In case of division, we have to keep both the numerator and denominator in terms of polar. So here, in case of division and multiplication, we can use polar form. Do you all understand this one? So here, numerator value is in polar form that is 50 with an angle 0 degree. Here we are going to convert this rectangular form into polar form. So for that, we can take the calculator and here we can simply switch on the calculator and select the mode as complex mode. So simply press mode. Okay. So and then select number 2. We can see the mode as complex in the calculator. So next we are going to convert this rectangular into polar. For that we can give the value 2 plus 9 the J value. Okay. That imaginary value. For that we can press the shift and then E and G. So now you can see 2 plus 9 I. We are going to convert this rectangular into polar. So for that we can simply press the shift and plus sign. Okay. You can see the polar form R with an angle theta. Okay. Then you can simply press equal to sign. Then you can get the value of magnitude that is 9.2195. 
so we can take value as 9.22 for getting the face value we can simply press the shift and then equal continuously then we can get the angle as 77.47 we can take the value as 77.5 degree do you all understand this one so in case of division and multiplication we can use polar form okay so now we have both the numerator and denominator in polar form then we can simply take the division 50 divided by 9.22 so what is the answer 5.4229 so here 5.42299 so we can simplify that as 5.423 for getting the angle we can simply take the subtraction of this denominator from this numerator okay so for this face value simply we can in case of division we can subtract the denominator from this numerator okay then we can get 0 minus 77.5 degree is minus 77.5 degree so it is in ampere so the same can be converted into rectangular form okay so here for getting the rectangular form again we can simply give this value 5.423 for getting this angle symbol we can press the shift and this hyphen symbol you can see this angle then we can give minus 77.5 degree no need to give degree simply give minus 77.5 so we are going to convert this polar form into rectangular form for that we can press the shift and here minus sign you can see the rectangular form right shift minus means to convert into rectangular form that is a plus b i then we you can simply press equal sign you can get the real term 1.17375 we can simplify that as 1.174 for getting the imaginary value we can simply press this shift and equal you can see minus 5.295 so here you can see imaginary value i so it is j here do you all understand this one we have obtained the value of this current through this 2 plus j5 ohm due to this 50 volt okay in terms of polar as well as rectangular form okay So next in the second step we are going to find out the current through this branch 2 plus j5 o due to this current source at the time the voltage source is short circuited correct that is superposition theorem so here we are going to find out the current flowing through this branch that is i double dash so here the total current flowing through the circuit is 20 with phase 30 degree so that current is getting divided at this point so one is to this side the another one is to this side so we are going to find out this current okay do you all understand this concept so here we are going to use current division rule because the current is divided between these two branches so what is the total current flowing through the circuit that is 20 with phase 30 degree okay so here we are going to use current division rule so current division means what i double dash is equal to the total current 20 with phase 30 degree multiplied with the opposite branch okay so if you are going to find out the current through this branch means we can consider the opposite value j4 divided by the total value that is j4 plus 2 plus j5 then we can get 20 with phase 30 degree multiplied with j4 divided by 2 plus j9 so here in the numerator we are having the multiplication operation here it is in polar form here it is in rectangular form so as i told you in case of multiplication and division so we can use only polar form so we are going to convert this term into polar form similarly so we have to convert this denominator into polar form 
so we have already obtained this polar form in the previous step we can use directly that value for this j4 we can use the calculator and get this value we have to take the calculator and set the mode as complex one then we are going to give this imaginary value directly so 4 there is no real term so we can directly give this 4 then shift eng it represents 4i next we are going to convert this 4i into polar for that we can press this shift and then plus symbol we can see r with phase theta then we can press this equal to sign the magnitude is 4 and what about the phase again we can press the shift and equal we can get 90 degree do you all understand this one 4 with phase 90 degree okay so in the next step we can simply multiply this 20 and 4 that is 80 with angle we have to simply add okay that is 30 plus 90 the that answer is 120 phase the denominator we are having 9.22 with angle 77.5 so next we can simply divide this value 80 divided by 9.22 then the answer is 8.68 so here we can simply subtract the phase value so in the numerator we are having 120 minus 77.5 then we can get 42.5 degree that is the i double dash value so again we have to convert this polar form into a rectangular form okay for getting rectangular we can press shift minus sign okay so in the last step we are going to find out the total current flowing through the branch here not 4 that is 2 plus j5 ohm due to both 50 volt and 20 with 30 degree ampere is the sum of two currents i dash and i double dash so here in this we are using only addition operation for that we can use the rectangular form so we can take i dash in rectangular form and then i double dash in rectangular form we are going to simply add this together so here real plus real that answer is 7.574 and then imaginary and then imaginary if you are going to add these two values that is minus j 5.295 plus j 5.864 then the answer is plus j 0.569 ampere okay so that can also be written in terms of polar form so for that we have to again convert this rectangular into polar okay using calculator then that can be written as 7.6 with an angle 4.3 degree in amperes okay